Hey, what's up, guys? This is Aussie again. We are doing Flow Runner today. Um, I'm trying to run with the same theme of doing it as fast as humanly possible. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you have better builds, let me know. So this I got down to best turn is 26. So uh, using this and honestly, they haven't done it again. So I'm going to say 35 or lower. Let's go to the build. We have Yunchuan as a lead for attack damage percent, 40%, of course. Uh, we have him kind of skilled up. All we really cared about is this being skilled up all the way. Cooldown reduced by one. So we have him built as crit damage, attack, speed. We have Lu Yi, crit damage, attack, speed. Fully skilled up, both of them. Mateo, not skilled up at all because I just received him. We have him as crit damage, attack, speed. And we have Ophelia, still haven't upgraded her either. <laughs> so honestly, this build could be so much faster. But uh, we have him as crit damage, attack, attack. Could put speed there. We have her R6 recently. Camille, she is free to play. Just keep playing the game and you will fully R6 her. And I have her skilled up, of course, because she's R6. Um, except for this move, I just need one more. We have her as crit rate, attack, attack. The only reason I have her as crit rate is because I didn't have enough good enough runes for crit damage rune there to have a high enough crit rate percentage. Um, if you have her R6, she goes twice. Once she does her S3, we have her S2 immediately. Wolven Smash grants another turn, so you could do the double claws right off after it. Um, as far as for Flow Runner, if you haven't done them before, let's go over the moves. So, attacks all enemies one time. Passive. It's S2. When dealing damage, restores HP, healing a certain proportion of max HP. More action the caster takes. So, they're going to keep healing themselves. <laughs> what we do against that is someone who has disease i think it's her first one no second no third yes yes no where what disease there we go <laughs> okay so uh haiti camille uh has her s2 is inflicts disease for two turns can't be resisted uh, so that's why you want someone that has disease. I don't care what your team comp is. As long as you have someone diseased for flow runner, especially the, <coughs> excuse me, the level 10. So, and then we have the one, uh, S one attacks one enemy one time. Uh, this guy has a lot of health, so it definitely takes me a long while to do it. But if I'm doing it through blitz, I can get at least 35 or lower. So we're gonna do a blitz 10 times so you guys can see the effectiveness of this. There's no failures. Um, we're just trying to get this as fast as possible. And here we go. Ooh, 29, 30, 31. It's getting higher, 30, 31. I might post this as 30 or lower. I'm gonna do it. If you guys complain, well, you know, it's all right, but <laughs> I did get a 29, and that's all that matters. Uh, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you're using. Uh, tell me how I can upgrade this. Is it just because I need scale ups for Mateo and Ophelia? Uh, do you have a different team comp that I could possibly try? If it's better than mine, I'm going to post it. So uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. And I will be doing the Shimmer one right after this one. I'll see you guys later. See you in the next video. Peace.